Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating some apps right here on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, same instructions, whichever one you guys have. So let's just go right into your App Store. In your App Store, you will see on the top right hand side, there should be a circle with an image in it. It could be an image, could be a letter, could be anything you guys chose. So in this case, we're going to tap right there. And once we tap there, you should see this screen. So if we scroll down, we will see update all. So that's on the top left hand side and we can go ahead and update all the apps that are need in updating right now. However, if you just want to update one at a time, we can go ahead and click on each one. So for example, I'm going to do Fortnite. I'm going to go ahead and just update Fortnite. Now usually the app Fortnite, for example, although the app downloads right now and it updates, usually when you open it up as well, the app itself, it's going to download some updates as well. But that's just for Fortnite. Other apps do not do that. If you're missing an update, so for example, you don't see TikTok right here and you want to update it, we can always go and hit on done up here and we can search for it. So we're going to search for TikTok. Now this is just in case you guys don't see an update and we're going to click on it and you should see update on the top right hand side of it. So let me just click on TikTok and we can hit on update from here. So that's another way to update if you guys don't see an update for that particular app. So we're going to go back and we're going to go into this screen once again. So I can see TikTok is being downloaded right now. Now each update is different for each app. So it does really depend how big each update is and how long that will take on your internet speed. So if you guys have really slow internet speed, this can take forever. Yes. So right now we see LinkedIn. We can click right there. We see Nest. We also see Spotify, Netflix, Pinterest, Flip, you'll see what's up. Then we have Microsoft Authenticator. We have GoPro, Google Play Music, Google Home, Google Stadia. We have Photoshop Express, YouTube. That's just a regular YouTube app. We have Disney Plus, very popular app right now. We also have Dropbox. We got Google Maps, Kijiji, Google Chrome, Groupon, YouTube Studio, not everybody has that, but okay. Here's eBay, Facebook, Messenger, which is also from Facebook, Instagram, which is also owned by Facebook, Google Photos, Microsoft Outlook, and Twitter. So right now I clicked on every single one of these in order to update them all. If you do that, you're gonna have to wait, wait quite a bit until all of them update. Once they're updated, they will just say open. They will disappear from this selection since they don't need to update anymore. Right now we can see that Fortnite's still downloading. It's usually one of the bigger apps right now, TikTok smaller, so it will not take as big of a space as Fortnite. Now let's say you guys have an older iPhone, iPad Touch. This will be a little bit different. Your updates will just be in the bottom and not hidden. These are kind of hidden and that's why we wouldn't see them. So right now you guys just saw that TikTok got updated and it just disappeared. That's what's supposed to happen because right here, this section's only for available updates. So as soon as an update's done, they're just gonna disappear from this selection. And that would be it for this video. Again, if you guys have an iPad or iPod Touch, the latest generation, this will be the same thing. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.